Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Now that we finished up the sci-fi park, I thought I'd take a little bit of time in between parks to check out some Steam Workshop items to one, get inspiration, and two, just take a break because my brain needs it. First up, we have this little hot dog stand. It's pretty cool looking. There's some like mail pieces here. Nothing too fancy. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't believe this when I saw it on Steam Workshop. This is absolutely insane. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a giant robot dog with two hot dog squads in its paws. Look at this. They got the drills for the teeth. It's got a mouthful of freaking fire. Now this is a hot dog you don't want to mess with, man. Look at it. I love this too on the side. It says Chief Beef made from stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> Those are shops right down on its paws. It's got a gun on its back. So this is so cool. Let's take a look at nighttime. Oh, it glows so well. What are these? Oh, are these engines? Oh, okay, those, yeah, those are engine pieces with yellow. I did not know you could change the color of the engine exhaust. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, I don't want it to be blue. Uh, yellow, whatever yellow that was. Oh, man. It's lit up pretty well too. There's a bunch of lights underground. So yeah, it's just a blueprint from Steam Workshop. I just went and hit subscribe and there it is. All the links to the Steam Workshop items that we're looking at today will be in the description below guys. So go check these out. Give the supporters some awesome feedback. You can even comment on Steam. We'll let them know that you love it. It's the best way of encouraging people to keep making awesome stuff like this. That one is fun to look at, fun to play with and makes me really feel horrible about my builds because this is awesome. And this is pretty crazy. Clover Ridge River Run. Look at this, so it's a massive river ride. Oh man, there's just so much stuff here. It's an entire ride. Okay, let's try and get it. Put it down like right there. There we go. Let's ride this thing. Okay, ride camera. Yeah, a lot of people ask me why I didn't do first person right on this because I don't really like it. I think it's better to do third person, but Look at this, so that's the entrance area. So it, it reminds me kind of of the River Rapids ride in California Adventure where it has the big spinning wooden platform on the center and then you just kind of hop on these things as they pass by. Look at this, this is a lot of detail work. See this is something like I'd like to do in the future is not build entire parks but maybe just one specific ride. Just because when I build entire parks I feel like I stop focusing, ooh look it's pouring water on them. I stop focusing on the small detailed things just because I kind of want to continue on with the park and make progress on it so this is something I may do in the future which is just individual rides and do series on that heck we may even do that before the next big park after checking this stuff out got a nice bend here this is so cool man I love that I, I also do want to work with more triggered items look at that that's a genius idea it pours water on people as they go underneath totally gonna rip that off in the future I mean totally gonna Reference that in the future is what I mean. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Got a little bell tower over there. I have a windmill. Okay. Oh, pouring more water down there. Woo, here it comes. Yay. I don't know if that was triggered or if it's just like timed randomly. Are those like water guns? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's kind of, they kind of look like, oh, those are those guns. Okay, from the western set piece. Interesting. <laughs> kind of ruined the aesthetic here with the giant robot dog in the background, but... Oh well, whatever. It still works. Oh, we've got a ramp coming out. We'll just speed up through here. Oh my god, the leaves are going through that wall. Worst ride ever, man. This is horrible. <laughs> oh, we got a big drop coming up. And hold on to your butts. And wee Splash. 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 I'm just gonna speed up a little bit through here. Ooh, look, they actually got a functioning water wheel. Oh, uh, you can see the water spout. Worst ride ever. I'm just kidding. This thing is awesome. It's a million times better than my attempts at rapids rides. Look at it go. I'm just speeding up just because it's cool, but you know, we also want to get through it. And there's the entrance again. That's so cool. So people get on and off here. And then we're off again. Goodbye. That's awesome. I love it. Next up, we have a couple of builds by one of my favorite Planet Coaster YouTubers, The Lady Singer. I'm sure some of you know of her. If you don't, go check out her channel. She makes awesome scenery stuff. Like, ah, uh, she's so very good at this game. Look at this. So she's got a fairy tale shop and a temple. Look at this. These are so cool. Oh, let's check out the fairy tale shops. So we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. We got a cosmic cow. We got a chief beef. 
Oh, uh, she's very good at foliage, man. Look at all this stuff. I'm just too lazy to, like, place all these bushes. I need to stop doing that. Oh, Hat Fantastic over in the back. So it's got three different shops in this one building, and it just oozes style, man. Oh, man. What is this? Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like a little wooden pathway up there. I don't know how people come up with ideas like this. It's so very good. And then a cool temple over here. What are these pieces? What, what are these things? These round pieces, not spooky vines. Oh! Fountain bait. Okay, cool. Well, that's a good idea. So it's like an ancient temple, nice and run down. I like all the different angles these things are on, kind of like it's collapsed, you've fallen apart. A cool little path over to the entrance. Cool, so that's just a nice little set piece you could use. Uh, just for like any sort of ride or just randomly in your park. Very, very cool. Oh yeah, Superman Ultimate Flight. So I think this is supposed to be like a real life coaster. I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's go ahead and put that down. Let's see, how low is it supposed to go? Imagine those bushes back there are supposed to be on the ground. It's like that. Oh yeah, this is a cool little fountain. That's cool. Look at that. So they made a little fountain. I'm assuming the path's supposed to go up here. Uh, let's just test it out though. And hop on. Okay, so is this like the laying down? Yeah, okay, so this is where they actually... I've been on the, the Superman ride in uh, Six Flags Great America. It's just north of Chicago. It's actually when I visited Chicago, like in 2008, we went up there. So that one was really cool. It's the first coaster I've ever been on when we're actually lying down. It was pretty scary, like, <laughs> especially for my first time, but... Because I'd never really liked coasters for most of my life until I started going, uh... In, like, high school. Then I started liking them. Whoa! Okay, I definitely want to build one of these coasters. I don't know if I've ever actually used the lying down coaster in Planet Coaster. These are really cool. Almost hit that bird. Look out! Little birdie. See, this is like, they did a good job using the modern pieces to make the coaster bake. That's something I do struggle with in this game. Look at it go. Big manta ray on the front kind of kills the whole Superman vibe. Woo! <laughs> that, that seemed a little aggressive. <laughs> like it would have snapped your neck, but very, very cool. I guess I'm just going to say that about everything. I need to get my thesaurus. Think up some more words to compliment these things. This is intensely amusing and rad. I enjoyed, enjoyed it thoroughly, and I found it to be quite pleasant in terms of design and functionality. I don't know why I'm talking like a news anchor. There's my beautiful rendition of <laughs> the Emperor's March or whatever. Look at this, it's a freaking Death Star! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, man, okay, let's definitely gonna ride this. I know my buddy Silverette made a Death Star, uh, but this is not it. This is a different one. Wait, you can have- you can have launches not go flat? Because that was a launch coaster. Well, that is news to me. Well, there you go, learn something new every day. I imagine it's gonna be a very quick and kind of janky coaster on the inside. It's a little slow, actually, but it's, it's not bad. <laughs> I mean, they had to squeeze it into this very tight area. Can I imagine that's relatively difficult? This is cool. With the red lasers shooting out, you're gonna burn people's eyeballs out. But just the fact that they could build this inside of this. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. Alright, it's a relatively short coaster, but just the design of this thing is so cool. Got the big core in the middle here. And then just oh, the patience to place all these things. No way in hell I'd ever do that. That would drive me crazy. Well done. And I just thought this was cool. I mean, uh, it's made by a different person, but we have an X-Wing, and they even added a support to make it uh, look like it's not flying. But I like it when it's flying. No, I'm just kidding. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> look at that. That is really well done. Good job. Made with all the different sci-fi pieces. Looks pretty perfect to me. Like, uh, it'd be hard to make anything better than this. I like the little wagon wheels. <laughs> or iron wheels from the western piece. Everything's from the sci-fi piece, except for that. That's from the western piece. And finally, we have the Rail Gunner. This is a very cool looking coaster. I actually remember seeing this on the Planet Coaster subreddit a little bit ago. But we're gonna hop on this and take a ride. Let's sit on down. And I believe this is a launch coaster. Yep. So it's a rail gun. It's supposed to just like propel you forward using magnets. Magnets. How do they work? Nobody knows. Oh, a nice inversion there. Woo. Oh, that's cool. I like the red looks on the outside. That is nice looking. Look at the interiors. Oh, it's so well done. 
Oh, I'm so jealous. Double corkscrew. Whoop, whoop. There we are. Going back into the building. Nope. Oh, I love the red rocks. I really need to work with those more in the future. Oh, flipped over. I think that was called the banana roll. Maybe. I don't know. I think it was. I'm learning. Look at me go. Whee! Around the bend. So most of it does take out, uh, take place outside of the building, but still pretty awesome. A really well done coaster there. And I just love the design of this. They did a really good job just keeping everything nice and dense. Very, very cool. All right. Ooh, I like the foliage on the inside. So that's probably the entrance and the exit there. I want to check this out a little bit more on the inside. Because it, it's really cool. Like, just using the wooden floors in here. I like that. It came out pretty good. And then this... Oh, this is probably where the entrance or exit goes. So it actually zips on by oh, the coaster. That's very cool. So it's inside the building by the entrance queue. Oh, man. That's a good idea. I like the double levels in here. This is a very well-made part. This would fit really well... Like any sci-fi park, I mean, it seems pretty diverse. Has a nice little walkway up here with some computers. And then engines just kind of firing right there. Going to burn people's faces off as you go by, but fantastic design. I really like it. Look at it go. Whoop. And around. I like the, the addition of the palm trees and stuff. That's something I would like to get more into is like actual manicured. Or not manicured. Well, like kind of. <laughs> actually well-managed and placed. Uh, landscapes instead of just like randomly placing them around. That's something I do need to have a little bit more patience on and work with. But let's see, is there a name up here? Build the roof. Oh, we have to build the roof. <laughs> Never mind. This thing sucks. Doesn't come with a pre-installed roof. So the roof thing might be because of the uh, the piece limit. You can only have so many pieces in a blueprint. So he might have just torn the roof off and uh, had that had you just build it yourself. So you can actually upload it to the Steam Workshop. Because if he had too many pieces. He wouldn't have been able to upload it to the workshop. And finally, we're going to end it on kind of something small, but I have had, I've always had trouble making waterfalls in this game look good, but this one is really nice looking. I kind of want to dissect it and see exactly how they did it. Okay, so they've got, let's see, fall large. Wait, what? When, did, when was this added? What the heck? That's something? Fall large? What did it do? What did it do? Spout. No, that's the water spout. Splash. Huh. Okay. I don't remember these being in the game. Are these new? Water spout large. Because these actually look really good. Those must be new pieces. I could have sworn those weren't there before. But there you go. So that's how they did it. They got those. And then they got a couple back there to kind of add some more up there. But let's go ahead and add everything back. Beautiful. And these are just probably those little pools. Yeah, the, the pools of water. So they just cover the edges with rocks, kind of like what we did with the radioactive ones in uh, Crater City. But this is very cool looking. Okay, so this will give me some good ideas because I do want to do a lot more stuff with the water in the future. But that is going to be it for this episode of... I don't know, I need a name for this series, guys. Because I do want to occasionally, maybe once a week, stop in on the Steam Workshop and show you guys some of the cool stuff on there. So help me come up with a name for the series in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, if you have any suggestions for things to check out in the future of this workshop appreciation series definitely let me know in the comments below as well also tell me uh what your favorite one was uh what your hopes and dreams are what's your favorite type flavor of jelly bean okay i'm gonna stop telling you say things in the comments now i'm gonna go you guys have a great day i'll see you next time bye